Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Happy holidays. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be doing a simple, quick, easy video tutorial on how to create and make your own custom neck labels. Okay, so if you are into branding your own clothing, you have your own clothing line, you're just starting out, and you want to create your own custom neck labels, this is the place to be. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how you can make them. Well, I'm going to tell you what video to get because I did a previous video before, um, I believe last year or two years ago. So I'll have that video linked down in the description on end. So I'll have that video linked down in the description box and I'm going to have it linked at the end card where you can click on it. Make sure you watch this video first though. So that video is a very detailed step by step on how I made them, where you can get those wash symbols from because I know you want to um, add those different wash symbols for your clothes as well. If you want to use that, I didn't use it on this one because it's really small for kids clothing, but I do use it on my adult clothing brand. So definitely check that video out i made those in photoshop i take you step by step but you can use any program you can use any program any software to make it also if you don't have the software to create and make them yourself then you can also get them made um, on Fiverr. You can get someone to do it for you or you can get them done on Etsy. So definitely check that out if you want to create your own custom neck labels but you can't do it yourself. So today I'm gonna jump into the video. Today I'm gonna show you, these are my custom neck labels. I have them in black and I have them in white. This is my gang sheet. This is my gang sheet and of course I got them from TKO Sales. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the size. I'm going to tell you the dimensions of the gang sheet. I'm going to show you how you press them. Again, I'm not going to be going through the steps on how to make them because I did it before. And it's the holidays, y'all. I've been running around this week like a chicken with my head cut off. It's Thanksgiving week, so I'm going to try to keep this video as short and sweet as possible because I know you guys got holiday shopping. I know you got... um. I'm trying to open this right and talk at the same time. I know you guys got holiday shopping. I know you guys got cooking to do, decorating. I have to finish decorating and I have to decorate the outside. So yeah, I do big on Christmas. Okay, so these are my custom neck labels. I've showed them in like a little small um, clip before, I think. This is what they look like. Now you can get them in any color you want. I just get them in white and black because you want the white to show up on dark shirts and you want the black to show up on um, white shirts. Now some people don't get black. Some people get like a dark gray. So you can do that as well. My other ones I believe are dark gray. But depending upon the garment that you're using different colors, you know, it's just your preference. But this is what they look like up close. You can even feel them. They almost feel like braille. And I literally just go ahead and I make this is every size ranging from extra small all the way up to extra large you want to make sure that you're including your actual fabric count where it's made and you want to include the size those are the things that you have to have you don't have to put the wash instructions some people say you do but um you don't. You can do different styles. I'm going to jump on the computer and I'm going to show you different styles of how you, um, you can design yours. I just simply put my logo at the top, the size, and then I put my actual information for the garment. So that's what it looks like up close, guys. So my son's logo, I put the size, I put the, the count for the material, the fabric, and I put where it was made. Really quick, I also just wanted to point out the difference. These are the ones that I got from 613 Original a few years ago. As you see, this is a white backing, white backing, white film. This one is clear. So when I turn it over, I can literally see the position and where I'm pressing it. These, I would have to always, you know, kind of flip it back and forth. You can see it a little bit. That's because I'm shining a light. But once you put it up to a dark garment, you won't be able to really see the position. So I had to cut always close so that way I can make sure it was straight. Sometimes my, my neck labels would be crooked, guys. So I love the fact that they have theirs on the clear film where you can see through it. That's so key when you're pressing, especially for a brand. You want your stuff to be professional. You don't want your stuff to be, you know, all lopsided. So they still came out great, but these are the ones that have the wash symbols. To make them fit, you can put them in any position. So I would have them go in both directions so that way I can fit as many as possible. But these were all the exact same size, all the same size, no wash symbols, clear film, 
These were with the wash symbols, but with the white backing. I did not like these as much because I couldn't see through them. Now, TKO sells. Okay, so that's how that one looks. Okay, so I wanted to come on Etsy really quick just to show you guys what you can order off of Etsy and just how some of them can look. So I'm just going to put in custom neck labels. And let's see what comes up. So as you see this one right here, this one has um, multiple colors. You can have them in so many different designs. You can have it simple, you can have it more extravagant, however you want. You can have the, um, the paper ones as well, but the ones I have are the screen transfers as well. And I believe those are better because you know you don't want tags. The whole purpose of, of branding is to get away from those tags so that way they don't feel it in the back of the neck. So when you get the, the custom neck labels like I have, you know people really like that because it's nothing that they have to cut out because a lot of people I know I have I used to always cut out my tags because it might be itching me depending on the material so you can come on Etsy and you can see um, have someone create it for you design it for you as well or you can order them off of here but I recommend getting them gang sheet you save a lot of money over time by getting them done the gang sheet style so again you can come on Etsy and have someone create them for you there's so many different options and so many different style options that you can get done so don't say I didn't tell you this is where you can come and I'm gonna show you while I'm on here the wash symbols because I bought mine right off of Etsy. All right, so you can come on here, find whoever you want to get them from. Look, some of them might vary. Some of them are mostly all the same. See which ones, you know, they have that you want. And then pick and choose whoever has the best price. And it's an instant download. So they are SVG, PNG, vector form. So that way you can copy and paste. You can move them around. You can resize them. And you can put them right into your graphics for your own logo, for your own custom neck labels. Okay? So come on here. And this is where I got my wash symbols. I don't remember who I bought them from. Doesn't matter. Just pick one and go with it. But I hope this helps you guys out to get you started. So that way you can have your own wash symbols if you want to include that in your neck labels. So if you use TKO, of course, if you use my link, you'll get 10% off your first order. And if you use them, this one was the Premium Plus Gang Sheet. One color, one color. Um, and it's a 12 by 18 size. So my last ones I got was from 613 Original. That was probably like two years ago. Um, I can't remember how much I paid. I really can't. Now, of course, you can have multiple colors in your um neck labels but guys if you add more colors you know some people have multi-color logo or different color logos if you want that then of course it's going to cost more the price is going to go up so again this is the premium plus gang sheet 12 by 18 i used one color and i just ordered 20 20 of each because this is going to last a long time so of course you know the more you know you and of course i'm just starting out with my son's business so i just got 20 for right now for um each color and when you use them all you do is cut them out all right when you use the size you can cut them out you can cut them all up and then put them in sizes and put them like in little bins that's what i'm going to do eventually i just haven't gotten around to it so i'll definitely do that so that way i'll just grab and go so i'm heating up the press i'm going to show you how you press it but guess what we're going to make it even easier to press because as you all know i just recently unboxed my brand new trans pro plus 16 by 20 interchangeable platen heat press right some of you are still ask me when you see it in my latest videos what heat press is that this is my brand new baby my brand new my number one sorry heat press nation uh, this thing is a beast and I love it because I can interchange the platen so guess what I got I told you I was coming it was on back order I got the perfect size platen for custom neck labels this is the size that you want it's a four by four so if you get this heat press which right now pro world is running crazy sales I'm not sure if the heat press is on sale but I know they have a lot of stuff on sales they're doing daily deals right now so you definitely want to click the link down below and sign up because you can get a chance to win a $300 gift card when you sign up under my link and you might win a chance to win a $300 gift card. We all know we need them coins back in our pockets. But this right here is the custom four by four size for your neck labels. Now I have three other size platens as well. This is perfect for sleeve arms and for pants legs. This is the six by 20 or 20 by six, however you wanna say it. Love this. I'm so glad I got the size because I do a lot of graphics, designs, names, customs all in the sleeves. If I had that a while ago, oh my goodness. 
and of course I used this in my first video my unboxing this is the 8x10 they have a few other sizes as well but those will you know pretty much keep me covered so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my platen size out so that way I can use it to press my neck labels today guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and turn on your notification bells that way you're notified every time I post a video I post weekly content on helping you grow and start your business tips and tricks to help you as well as all the scenes behind mine and I have fun on this channel so you definitely want to join it if you like what you see go ahead and stick around all right so let's get started it says to press from anywhere between 300 to 325 Fahrenheit. So y'all know I'm a hot girl, right? So always press mine on the hot side. I thought I turned you on. Last night, I was putting together a brand new table. Guys, I've been in here working. I'm running out of space. I built a new table and it's still not done. I have to create more space over here. So I was doing that like after midnight. Oh, it's getting crazy. All right, so I'm gonna just make sure I have my temperature set to what I want it to. 320 that's good and I'm gonna have it on um, 10 seconds all right you want to press anywhere from 7 to 10 seconds firm pressure for these neck labels okay so make sure you check out those links while it's heating up make sure you check out the links in the description box below that way it'll take you to my other video step by step on how to make them how to make them how to put them together how to design your own custom neck labels so while it's heating up I'm gonna take the little lever that's down here on the bottom and I'm just gonna lift up the platen like so. And you can interchange this platen back and forth. It has like a little groove on it right here, a little circle, and all you do is just put that right in the middle. So heat press is almost warmed up. I have my four by four size platen. Now you do not have to have um, a neck label platen, but it is best. It is, you know, recommended, especially if you're gonna be doing and pressing neck labels on the regular. Now, if you follow me and you, um, you've been watching me since the very beginning, then you know I used to press my neck labels with my hat press. That's a great way to do your neck labels as well, using a hat press. So if you have one of those, that's a great way to do it. Um, you want to make sure you have tear away labels. You have to have blanks that have tear away labels. So I'm just going to tear that out just like so. And now you can brand your own shirt with your own custom neck labels. So all I'm doing, this just makes it so much easier to line up, get that in the center. And I'm going to take that down. Do you see how much space and how much easier it is? Now, when I was doing it with my hat press before, sometimes I would get like that, that mark. This is just perfect because it's the perfect size. So all I'm going to do is take my entire gang sheet. I'm just doing it over here. And I'm going to cut out the size that I need. So again, I will be cutting these all out and putting them in bins, labeling them for sizes. But I'm just showing you how you would, you know, do it with the game sheet. And because this shirt is white, of course, I want to use a black neck label. Okay, so it's kind of like mirrored. You don't send it mirrored, but when they print it, it comes kind of like this. The screen print that's going to adhere to the shirt, you can feel it is raised. So you press it down on that side. So all I'm going to do is center this up and press this on the shirt like so. I do not need a Teflon sheet at all. Okay, I'm gonna slide that in. I don't want my shirt to get caught because it is threadable, but I don't have to thread it because I'm only doing the neck label. All right, I'm gonna slide that in just like so. And I'm pressing again at 320 degrees for 10 seconds, firm pressure. And I have to adjust my pressure Ooh. what guys that pressed and I literally I would have cut that out but that pressed and I, I didn't even have that down for five seconds these TKO transfers are just like the bomb that's already in the shirt y'all just saw what I did I didn't have enough pressure but that clearly pressed. That's already in the shirt. I'm going to give it another press. Okay, okay. I wasn't expecting that. It shifted. I thought it was still down. So I'm just going to give that like another five second press. Because when you change the platen, the pressure changes. So depending upon the platen size that you have, 
the pressure will change. So I had to adjust my pressure to make it firmer because this is a smaller size platen. So now I will add a Teflon sheet. Oops. And I'm gonna make sure that's locked and secured in. Okay. Look at that, your own custom neck label, guys. Let's get to it. See? And you can design it however you want. So that's how the black would look on the white. This is the back. Can kind of see it a little bit. I don't really care. But you know, if you do care about that, because you might not want it to show through, some shirts you can see it through. This is why some people go with a dark gray. So you might still see it on a dark gray as well. It will depend upon um, the brand of the shirt you use, the thickness of the shirt as well. This was a next, this was a Gildan shirt. Um, so this is how that one would look on the black. And it's in the shirt. It's not vinyl, the screen printed transfer, and it's permanent. Okay, now I'm going to show you on a black shirt. Again, I'm going to tear, oh, this is a next level shirt. The other one was next level too, right? Oh, the other one was a Gildan soft style. This one is a next level. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Slide that out so you guys can see it. Okay, so this is the white one. I'm going to place it face down, center it up. Okay, and I'm going to press it. I'm going to hold this up so it doesn't get caught. I love this because this just makes it so much easier than doing a hat press. And when I used my hat press before, I was always getting those marks, those rings around the curves. Oh my, but I had a whack hat press too. But this platen just makes it so much easier. So much easier. Pick that up. So hot. It's so hot. Remove that. These things peel like butter. I keep saying, listen, you can do your own branding, your clothing at home. All right, guys, this is so easy, simple, and fast. How about that? So now you do get a little mark, but that's because I'm also pressing really firm. So in order for you to take those marks out, all I would do is, ooh, all right, I don't wanna burn myself. Nope, the bottom is not hot. Take that aside. And since I have this one right here, I'm just going to switch out that one, lock that in. All I would need to do, nope, let me turn it the other way. You can turn this one vertical or horizontal. Lock that in. And now I'm just going to pre-press the back for like three to five seconds to get those press lines out. You want to get those press lines out, right? And I don't need to do it so firm. So now I'm just going to loosen up my pressure and press it. Okay, and it takes those press lines right out. Now I got bigger press lines, but it's okay because you don't want it like right around here. When they iron the shirt, it's perfect. That's the black one. And then this one is the white one. Guys, they feel so soft. Okay, so that's it. These are the custom neck labels. Again, use my affiliate link down below in the description box if you would like to get 10% off your very first order to get your custom neck labels. And I have the video in the description box as well, so that way you guys can refer to it to see how to get started, how to create them, where to get the wash symbols from, and how to design your own custom neck labels. You don't have to design them up and down. Some people design them rectangular. There's so many different ways that you can create your own custom neck labels because again, it is for your brand, so you want it to be a representation of you. And if you like the new heat press I do have a full unboxing so that way you can see the full unboxing and you can check out the sales at Pro World because right now they are having cyber week sales guys so you don't want to miss out as always thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video happy branding bye